There we go. That's a good one, I think. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Kind of a different sight today, man. No boat behind the STI, and we're not at a gas pump to start the video. So something a little bit different for y'all as of late. We're going to go ahead and hit some banks tonight, man. I got a bunch of rods over here in the Subaru, and I've got a spot picked out just down the road, man. We're going to go ahead and get into things. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon, man, 6 p.m. We've got two and a half hours minimum that we can fish, given the amount of light left before sunset. Might try some top water tonight. Might throw a multitude of different things. I don't even know what's in store for you guys. Let's get to the water, and we'll see what we feel like throwing first. Well, well, well. The first spot we roll up on looks a little murky, man. I'm thinking black and blue jig to start. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take her out. All right, man, look at us go. We've got a Hummer buzz bait, and we've got the casting jig. 3 8 ounce Guggen Squad casting jig with a crack and crawl. Black and blue, let me tell you what, I saw a little disturbance over here. I might kind of cast where that uh, little drain or inflow comes in and then just kind of work our way in this shallow end before we head out to the main attraction. I am curious if I can get a hit on this buzz bait though along the banks even though it's not optimal top water time. It's just uh, when you find murky water like this something with a little noise, something of uh, like a shad or black and blue color definitely going to be your best options. Um, throwing natural baits in here is still going to work like your, your greens, your traditional type of stuff but I mean the visibility is next to nothing so you need for me I feel pretty confident in the jig with all that action from the claws and the skirt moving I should definitely be getting in front of some fish's face we'll just see if they have the mood or the appetite for such a treat oh here we go this looks tasty a little bit of current from an inflow right here definitely gonna be my next cast Got one. Got one on the jig right here in front of us. All right, that's what we're talking about, man. That didn't take long at all. There's a little bit of concrete right here, a little bit of a, uh, some structure. There's also a little bit of grass right here. You can see along the bank, this little area, this pocket might be kind of stacked with them. First one of the night on the jig. That's a good sign. Nice little way to get things started out here. Yep, yep. All right, let's get back in here. Oh. Something just came up to the surface. I'm about to throw that top water. That combo looks pretty good, huh? All black and blue, everything. <laughs> Endurance rod, SLX XT. A little crack in action. But I think we're gonna put her on hold for just a second. Toss out the old buzz. Uh, I don't know, I just, I haven't thrown these in a long time. Well, I have actually, but I haven't gotten too many catches on the buzz bait. It would be nice to have an epic top water evening. And I'm sure, Tonight might just be that night. We will be throwing this thing around. I got a feeling. Okay, okay. Back to the jig. Didn't give the buzz mate much time. It's gonna get some action later, but you cannot tell me there's not a fish right here where this water flows in. I mean, oh, right there. Literally, if there was one spot in this pond, I would figure it's where this water flows in that there's gonna be bass hanging out. Oh, I thought I just got bit, but I guess I did not. I see a little bluegill just under the surface over there. They're like munching on whatever's falling in there too. Definitely should be some bass in there at some point during the day. That is definitely a spot I'd be hitting over and over again. Anytime there's a water inflow like that, it's just bringing in little insects, the small fish eat, and then the big fish come in to eat the little fish. It's just a, can become a feeding frenzy. It's just, when is dinner? Well, I'll tell you what, that little guy was fired up earlier, but I think I'm ready to make a move. Let's go to another spot. I got another place lined up just down the road. All right, y'all, this next one, it's actually a spot on the way to the spot, if I'm being honest. I've seen this place in passing by and there's no logs on fish frame. I don't know if there's fish in this thing, but if you see this spot, just any dude that enjoys urban bank fishing, you have to hit this spot right here. You'll see in just a second exactly what I mean. It's pretty slick. Let's see if we can't get a fish out of here. Hold up, you turn I forgot about this one. I've wanted to hit this one too. We are pulling in, man. Oh, dudes, frogalicious looking in one corner. Oh, yeah. All right, we got to see what this thing's all about, dudes. By the end of this night, I think we're going to hit four or five ponds. Entirely different over here, y'all. This is pretty daggum clear. I am going to probably tie on a frog instead of the buzz bait, but also get a natural plastic from our Texas rig. Dang, I wonder if I just want to throw, I kind of just want to throw a little saucy swimmer in here. 
What's in my on the go spot? Oh yeah. Saucy swimmer, swim jig, underspin, chatter bait. Oh my gosh, we literally have it all. This should do the trick though. This should definitely catch a fish or two. I would just go ahead and start with this little crank, but he dives three to six feet. I'd definitely be a little bit happier with a one to three foot shallow diver in uh, a pond like this. So I think if I throw this, I'm just gonna end up getting caught and it's gonna make me angry. So what we're gonna do is toss him on the all weather mat for later. I saw the beer. <laughs> yeah. I've actually never fished this. I, it looks so good. I passed it a million times. How's there no fish in here? Ridiculous. So I think we're gonna split and head over to that one I was telling you about a second ago. And actually, Adele just hit me up. They are going fishing tonight. So I might just go to a spot that they recommended and meet them and we'll get on a few fish with the friends. Dang y'all, they're at a spot 20, 25 minutes away, but I'm headed there anyways. Hopefully the bite's gonna be good tonight, man. We're gonna meet up with the friends at seven o'clock right now. So hopefully we get uh, lines in the water by 7.30, have an hour to fish, and we get more than just one little ding for this video, man, because I know there's some bigs in this city. Let's find them. What's up, guys? The whole crew. Yeah. <laughs> this one looks sweet. Dang. All right, time to put this away. GoPro. Where's my sunglasses? You found the shade. Man, I'm gonna have to get the weightless Sanko out here. It's just so shallow. That might be easy money. All right, y'all, this pond is so clear and quite shallow. Adele tells me that he gets caught all the time here on the bottom and that's why he throws moving baits. And I assume he just means kind of like Texas rig type of stuff. He also talked about the Ned rig. So I'm gonna try a weightless T rig with a lunker log. It should fall horizontally and hopefully not get snagged up on anything he's talking about down here. And I believe that will secure a catch because we're all throwing moving baits right now. And I haven't seen anybody pull anything out of the water just yet. So this might be the ticket. You cannot go wrong with a Sanko. Let me tell you what, if the bite is tough, a weightless Sanko, guys. I've talked to a lot of people that say they've been having a hard time catching fish. A weightless Sanko. Now this is a six inch. A five inch would probably get you more bites. But uh, I hear there's some decent ones in here anyways. So I'm not too worried about this extra size here. I'm going to set that hook inside the worm real good so that we avoid any snags and get back in the water, man. I think this is gonna be the ticket. And if not, I got a few other things in mind. Well, y'all know bites here between like the five or six of us over here casting. So we're gonna try a spot right down the street. Okie dokie, man, we have rolled up. I got three juicy options on me. Weightless Texas rig, black and blue jig, and a crank bait for the rocks. <clears throat> All right, we're making a move. We're gonna go hit the other pond. <laughs> There's people everywhere. All right, well, this side's a little more crowded. We'll find a spot though. There we go. White's on the first bite since we joined up with the gang. Grab Ready? Yeah, yeah. Throw up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was your first bites on black and blue? No, the first one was on a watermelon red plate. Oh. Oh, oh no. Dude, that's what happened. I think it I think it broke me off. No, it just took the worm. Dang. Wow, uh, we're using a mixture of like uh craw crawfish style baits. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just throw them back. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, it's a good spot. You got, you got the right place. Thank you. Probably what I had a lunker log that stole my worm. Oh, drag's not set either. Okay, it's a little guy. I'll be sure to tighten this up here in a second. <laughs> Dude, if it's slipping on this thing. All right, well, that's what happens when you get a backlash. Sometimes you let your uh, bait chill for a minute and it gets picked up on the fly. Um, quick release, hold on. There we go, at least y'all can see him now. Get back in there, tiger. I guess the Okeechobee crawl, crack and crawl is a fair game. Okeechobee crawl. Oh, that was cool. Oh, oh. There we go. That's a good one, I think. 
that one might be okay. Oh, he's not bad. He's not huge. He's not huge, but we'll take him. There we go. Weightless crack and crawl pulling through. Yeah, he does look to be almost three, huh? I think so. Two and a half. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weightless crawl. Maybe three. It'd be pushing it, but I think two and a half. Yeah, it's safe to say. How much you weighing, kiddo? Oh, well, that's nice. Hmm. Wyatt, I might need your scale. It's acting up. Oh, it did cross three. Did it? And now it's saying 297. It said 304 right off the bat. No, it's the first one. Right, right, right. Oh, wow. You won't believe this. Look at what it settled on. 2.99. 2.99. All right, there we go. Double up. The fish are starting to bite, man. We're getting on them. Thank you. You're welcome. New batteries in the Rapala. Tell you what, she's never steered us wrong until lately. Let's get this one back in the water, though. I'm going to let it go by the drain because it's so shallow. You can release it. Yeah, that's a good one. Hold on tight. Got him. All right. He bit me. <laughs> Wait, you had his mouth. <laughs> Mine was not even that far out either. Some people would argue that was a three pounder, but you know, 2.99, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna argue. Oh. Oh, he let it go. Dang, I just had one bump in it. Dang it, man, he stole a pincher. I knew he was biting. The craw, they're hitting the craws, dude. White's got another one, man. I'm over here thinking about top water, but I don't even know if it's a smart switch. I let Weston and Adele catch all the big ones, and I'll just pull the dinks out of the way for them. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not known for catching the bigs. <laughs> I might have got lucky with that three out of a pond. We'll see. Something big might hit this buzz bait, but then again, nothing might also hit this buzz bait. <laughs> there we go. Nice sun. Look at the sunset, y'all. Beautiful out here. Perfect time to get a backlash. Right when they're biting is the ideal time. Actually, I think this led to my catch a little while ago. They're just hammering them on the bottom after the baits have been sitting. So honestly, this is probably a good thing. All right, y'all, well, the sun is fading and so is the bite. I'm gonna make a few more casts here and then probably head on out of here. So I will catch you guys back at the house where there's a little bit better lighting. Look, y'all, we got the last one of the evening. Check them out. Bada bing, bada boom. It's almost 9 p.m. We're gonna get this release and meet y'all back at the casa. See ya. Oh, took off. All right, y'all. Back to the bank fishing routes and up just past midnight. That's not too bad, huh? <laughs> we filmed this one tonight, so literally I just got home a couple hours ago. Started the edit like after 10 o'clock. I had to like eat, chillax, relax, feed the dogs. And so we got this one up at an actually reasonable time. I would, of course, love to get these videos up every day at like 6, 7, or 8 p.m., but usually I film them on the go and then I get them up as quickly as I can, one a day. So all you gotta do is check back the next day and you'll get to see the next video. That's as easy as it gets. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. <clears throat>